So to make your keys sound, the first thing you'll need is the CZ plugin from Arturia. I like this because you get a kind of distortion, a little bit of bit crushing whenever you press a chord. See these tones up here, give you some texture to the sound. Next thing you wanna do is increase the vibrato a bit just so it gives you some more character. So this is what it sounds like without vibrato, I'm gonna turn it up. So now we've got this sound. Great, so that's our first step. Our second step is we wanna add some portamento because right now, we just jump from one sound to the other. So what I wanna do is pull up portamento, which makes the sound glide a bit. You know, pull this up to taste, pull it up to however high you want it. I wouldn't recommend going all the way up here because it takes ages to go from note to note. But we can pull it somewhere midway and you can still get a cool effect. So let's pull this down to maybe 30 or there around. Third step is adding a slower attack just so it glides in a bit and a longer release. So you're just changing the envelope a little bit. Just double click here to reset. And we've got this sound. As opposed to it jumping straight in, we've got it gliding in. And then the final thing we wanna do is just add some effects. So I think I wanna go for a chorus to make it a little bit wider. Let's go for three voices. And I think I just wanna add some reverb. Uh, so I'm gonna turn the size down. Let's hear this. Great, so that's all you really need. I think I might add a flanger as well just to make it a little bit more spacey, just to, as a low dry wet mix. Uh, let's pull the delay up a bit, depth, frequency slow it down. That's it with no flanger, this is it with a 100% flanger. So I'm just gonna pull it down. So there you have it. There's four easy steps to get your smooth R&B sine wave sound. If you've got any other suggestions for videos you want us to make, drop them down in the comments. We'd love to hear some feedback from you guys. Other than that, if you wanna learn some more sound design, head down to the description to find a link to my course, which is out now. Uh, here's the trailer for it. Sonic. Welcome to the Sonic Sound Design course. I'm Louis Flynn and I'm going to take you on a sound design journey from beginner level up to the highest level you need within R&B and hip hop production. I'm going to be taking you through iconic synths, emulations, instruments, effects and more and show you how to create your own analog lab bank like I've done with Lupo and Astral. You're going to learn how to market your bank and might even get a chance to release on the Lupo website. You can be joining hundreds of other producers and sound designers taught by the Lupo team in an online community where we collaborate, share ideas, and try and create opportunities for each other. The course features over 70 in-depth video tutorials, and you'll have the opportunity to speak to me directly through online calls in groups, and we'll be able to collaborate and share ideas in those calls. The course will be constantly expanding. You'll get more videos in the near future, and you get more and more additional content to make it worth your money. You'll also get a free companion analog lab bank with all presets broken down in the course. If you want to take your sound design to the next level, make sure to sign up and I'll see you there.